Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys the products that I have been loving for the month of May. So when I was thinking about the products that I have been loving this past month, it took me a minute because first of all, I haven't really been wearing that much makeup off camera. Um, second of all, I feel like I haven't tried too many new products either. So this is kind of a short and sweet list of products. However, everything that I have in front of me are things that I seriously can't put down. So even though I haven't been wearing too much makeup and I haven't tried too many new things, these are clearly the things that I've been loving this month. So let's just get right into it. This first product is something that I've owned for a while. Um, I used it a couple times and then forgot about it, reached for it again about a month and a half ago, and it's been really consistent in my routine, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I've used it a couple times on my channel, but I wanted to make sure that I really, really liked it before putting it in a favorites video. So it's this right here. I have to wear two shades because one is too light for me and one is too dark. I wish they had a shade in between. That is one con about this is the shade range is not good at all, but this is the super Supergoop Daily Correct CC Cream. It's the Broad Spectrum Sunscreen with an SPF 35. I love the formula of this. The coverage is actually really nice and it has mineral sunscreen in it. Supergoop is one of my favorite brands for sunscreen in general. I love their products. I have the Supergoop Zinc Screen right here. It's one of my very favorites for underneath makeup, especially during the summertime when I want a little bit more of a mattified T-zone. Anyway, this is a really, really beautiful product. I'm wearing it all over the skin today as my foundation foundation and as you can see it provides really good coverage and it wears well throughout the day which is something that I usually have a hard time with when it comes to CC creams to be honest. Some wear really well on me and some just don't. This is definitely one that wears super well on me. So I do end up mixing the two shades. I use fair light and light but I love that there's mineral sunscreen in here. I love the coverage that it gives. It's just the perfect CC cream for me personally because I know I'm getting that sun protection but it's also not going to irritate my acne prone sensitive skin. So yeah I'm really excited that I can finally say that this is a favorite of mine after a lot of trial and error and just making sure that it was something that would stick in my routine. I've been loving that. I'm sure so many people this month will probably talk about these products and it's for a good reason. These launched last month. They are the new Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzers. Now these were sent to me. They sent me three shades in the bronzer and I've been using two specifically. The first one is this one right here, which is called um, 01 Amber. This is like the contour shade. So if you have fair skin and you want a really nice, beautiful, sheer contour, look no further. This is beautiful. I use this really just underneath the cheekbones right here. Sometimes I'll put it right here and also on the sides of the nose. So it's really meant to sculpt. This one is not going to add that much warmth to the skin, but it is such a nice formula and such a nice tone to where I really don't feel like I go overboard with it, which is something that I personally have a tendency to do when it comes to bronzers. I'm pretty heavy handed with it. So this is a very forgiving formula and it looks so natural on the skin. The other shade that I use a lot is more for just warmth all over the complexion and it is the shade zero to butter biscuit. It's really nice. I'm wearing this all over the skin as well. Now this shade is the one that I have across the forehead and also a little bit higher on the cheeks. So again, this is going to add that warmth. I really, really love the formula of this and I've been getting so much use out of it. And you guys probably know that I recently also shared with you the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Bronzer. I put this in my last favorites video, I believe. I still use this a ton. It's a cream versus a liquid. So I still am going back and forth between the two, but if I'm being honest, I have been still getting so much use out of this one. So if you're looking for just a cream or liquid product in general to start off with, I still love this one a little bit more. With that being said, the Fenty Beauty bronzers have much more of a shade range. And so no matter what your skin tone is, you would be able to find something that would suit your complexion with the Fenty ones. I think there's only two shades in this one. So it is something to think about, but both are really great formulas. I've been getting so much use out of both. So I knew that was gonna be in my favorites video. And also going right along with that are the new Fenty Beauty cream blushes. Holy smokes, this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. They actually sent me all the shades. I tried these two shades first and I haven't even gotten around to really trying any of the other shades because I love these two shades so much. So the first one that I love is Petal Poppin, which is this gorgeous pink shade. This one actually reminds me a lot of the shade uh, that the Honest Beauty blush has. 
I should actually put them side by side sometime to see how similar they are, but I absolutely love the formula of this as well. Just like the bronzers, this is sheer enough but buildable, so you're not gonna go overboard right off the bat. It's something you can really build up and it never looks overdone, it never looks cakey. I love this shade, but the one shade that I am so obsessed with and I've never seen a cream blush quite this shade before um, is this one right here. It's 01 Fuego Flush. It's a gorgeous orange. And if you can see when I flip it this way, you can kind of see the gold shimmer that's in it. I layered the two on top of each other, so I'm not really sure how well you can see this on my skin since I layered a couple of the shades. This is such a flattering color. I love it. I love wearing this um, as kind of like a statement when I want to wear not that much makeup, which has been a lot of the time these days. So I love to just do like a simple makeup look and then kind of layer this up a little bit heavier on the cheeks. Since it does have a sheen to it, I tend to would not even worry about wearing highlighter when I choose to wear this shade and I feel like it just makes my complexion look really interesting and healthy but still natural somehow this looks so natural on the skin I don't know it's just the most beautiful blush shade ever and it's gonna be something that I know I'm gonna be wearing throughout the entire summer it's just the prettiest tone it gives you the prettiest peachy cheeks that honestly makes a statement, but in a really natural way. So I'm obsessed with that shade. All right, next up, I purchased a product during the Sephora VIB sale a while back, and I am so happy that I picked this product up. It actually is something that is still on sale. I don't know if it's being discontinued or not. I'm assuming it is, and it makes me really sad if they are discontinuing it because it is so beautiful. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette. I never picked it up because it originally retailed for around 80 or $90. So I always, when I was shopping on Sephora, I just, you know, spent my 80 or $90 elsewhere or on a couple of products instead of just one. But this um, recently went on sale and it's 50% off. I still think it's on sale. I hope it is. I will have it linked down below. I am shocked at how much I love this. So I initially kind of picked it up because I'm a huge Natasha Denona fan and I was like, you know, I've loved a lot of her products in the past, so I might as well pick it up while it's 50% off because it's hard to find Natasha Denona products at, you know, a better price range. So I picked it up kind of with that in mind. But as soon as I received this in the mail and started to play with it, I cannot get enough of this. I love how I use every single shade in this palette. This palette originally came in two different shades. So this one's for light to medium skin tones and then they had another one for medium to deep skin tones, which I can't find on the Sephora website anymore. So I'm assuming that one sold out on the Sephora website already. But I think this particular palette is still available and I am in love with it. So I actually did layer a little bit of this powder blush just right here on the cheeks. So just a tiny bit of that is on my face. And then I applied this diamond shade, which you can use on your cheeks. It reminds me a lot of the Fenty Diamond Bomb highlighter, which I love, but I went ahead and pressed it all over the eyes. I've been doing that a lot lately because it's in one palette, so I find myself a lot of the times doing like a really pretty fresh cheek look and then using some of the shades on my eyes as well. So I just love this, you guys. If you've been looking for something like this or if you're interested in Natasha Denona products, I highly recommend picking this up, um, especially if it's going to be discontinued because it is something that I feel like everybody would really enjoy. And like I said earlier, a lot of times when brands make face palettes like this, they usually just launch one and there's like a variety of shades and I feel like most of the time when brands do that, every person can just use like a couple of the shades. Do you know what I mean? Because some might be too light, some might be too dark for a person. So I really, really feel like this is a nice all around palette and I have seriously loved it and I've been able to use every single shade, which is rare for me in a face palette. Okay, this next product, I'm actually shocked that it's in my favorites video because it is not a new product to the market by any means. A lot of you guys probably already own this or you've seen people talk about it for years and years and years. We all probably know at this point how great Becca highlighters are. I have used so many for years, but I've never tried this shade before. They actually sent me a package um, with one of their new highlighters. It's like a limited edition highlighter and they sent a few of their other most popular shades along with it. And in that package was this right here. This is the shade Moonstone. Holy smokes, I don't know why it took me so long to try this. I have tried Champagne Pop, I've tried Vanilla Quartz, and I've never tried Moonstone. Moonstone is the perfect shade for me. It's such a beautiful highlighter. It's what I have on the skin today. It melts into the skin, just like all Becca highlighters do, but I have been obsessed with this, and I feel like it's one of those 
foolproof highlighters that I can still wear in the daytime because it's so perfect for my skin tone. It just melts into my skin and I can just use a lighter amount and it just looks like it's coming from my skin. So yeah, I know this is kind of funny that I am very late to the Moonstone bandwagon because I know so many people really enjoy this product. Um, but yeah, I have been loving it so much this month. Next up is another product that I purchased during the Sephora VIB sale and I'm really glad that I did. I don't really have any products quite like this. This is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick and it's in the shade Bear. This is what I have all over my lips today. And the thing I really enjoy about this is it's basically just like this massive color stick. You can use it as a lipstick. It also kind of works as a lip liner because of the shape of it. But then on top of it, you can use it as a blush as well. Excuse my self tanner hands, you guys. Listen, I decided to try out a gradual tanner last night. And usually when I do self tanner, I use something that has um, a guide color, like I'll use a tanning mousse or something so I can kind of see how much product I'm putting everywhere. But this lotion was clear, so it made some markings on my hands and wrists. So just ignore that. But anyways, this is such a beautiful lip color. I find myself reaching for it so often because I feel like it just works with so many eye looks. And also, it's not too shiny, but there is a bit of a pearl to it. So I feel like my lips look healthy and hydrated and not overdone, but they're defined enough. It's not too bright either. It's a little bit more muted, but it's still deep enough to make a difference when I put it on my lips. Like I feel like it really completes my makeup look every time I wear it and I'm just in love with this. It's such a unique shape that these actually come with their own sharpeners because there are no pencil sharpeners that will work with this. But yeah, I just feel like they're a really fun crayon type situation and it's really nice too because if you want to just apply it to the lips and then take your fingers directly on the lips and then tap it onto the cheeks it's a great way to get like a one and done monochromatic look you can also use it to touch up your makeup throughout the day if your blush and lipstick have worn off so I've been really enjoying this and I'm actually curious to see what other shades that I might be interested in when it comes to this because I'm shocked at how much I've been reaching for it it's a really really beautiful formula and the shades great as well all right, moving on to some body products. This is something that Fresh sent to me a while ago and it was just sitting in my to try bin upstairs. I keep a lot of body products and hair care products upstairs and sometimes it's harder for me to try new things like that because I really do have specific routines when it comes to my hair care and my skincare and my shower routine. But they sent this to me and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. So I tried it out, it was sitting in my shower and I love this so much. This is the Fresh Original Brown Sugar Body Polish. So it's basically just a sugar scrub. And at first when I read the name, I remember I'm gonna spill this, I'm trying to show you guys, but there's oil that's about to run out of it. So I'm not able to show you as closely as I was hoping. But when I initially read Brown Sugar Body Polish, I thought that it would be like a warm scented kind of a product, which is not always my go-to. I don't mind warm scents all the time. When it comes to candles, I definitely prefer fresh scents. Um, and body products and things, it just depends. So I kind of initially was like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna like the smell of this, but it's not brown sugary at all. It's actually a citrusy scent that's really, really nice and refreshing and invigorating. So I have been using this in the daytime. So it just depends. When I take showers in the evening and I'm using a scrub, I usually try to use something that's gonna be a little bit more calming or a little bit more rich in scent. But this one is amazing for when I shower in the daytime and I want something that's gonna feel luxurious, but also just make me smell really fresh and it kind of wakes me up as well. So I don't use this every single time I shower, but anytime I feel like my body could use a little extra exfoliation and hydration, I love to use this. The sugar does a really good job of exfoliating obviously, and then the oils in it stay behind on your skin and make your skin feel so soft throughout the day. So I'm in love with this and I really love how it smells as well. I saw on Sephora's website that they actually have like a fragrance called brown sugar, and I'm pretty sure it's gotta be the same scent as this. I really, really wanna try that out because it just smells so good. Another thing from Fresh that was recently sent to me as well is this Rose Petal Soft Lip Cream. This is one of their newest launches, I believe. And it's funny because every single time I get a Fresh PR package in the mail, my husband always steals them from me because it's one of his favorite skincare brands. He loves the entire Rose line. So as soon as he saw that there was this lip balm, he was like, nope, I'm taking that and it's been in his bathroom drawer. Little does he know that I have been stealing it back from him every single day. And I've been using this as my 
daytime lip balm and I love it. If you're somebody who's a fan of rose scented anything, you're gonna really love this. But it's not only like a nice experience, it also really does hydrate the lips. I'm definitely somebody who needs something even heavier than this in the evening though, so that's why I have loved it for daytime. It preps my lips perfectly throughout the day. It's great for underneath the lip products that I put on after I do my makeup and I've been reaching for this nonstop and so has my husband actually. So we've been both really enjoying that. In my last month's favorites video, I talked about some of the new Drunk Elephant body care stuff and I saw a lot of comments asking me what I thought about their deodorant. And at the time, I felt like I hadn't tried it long enough to give you my full opinion. But today, I definitely have used it for what, a month and a half, maybe even two months at this point. And I definitely have an opinion on it. I have actually been shocked, like surprisingly impressed by this deodorant. Let me give you a little backstory. I've tried every natural deodorant under the sun. Not everyone works for me. I have had a really hard time finding products that work, that last a long time, that don't make me smell in a matter of two hours. And so I'm very, very picky when it comes to my deodorants. I always look for something that's natural, aluminum free, things like that and that have really good ingredients. And so when they sent this to me, I was skeptical. I have recently been loving one from LeBang Body. So I'll have that link down below. I featured that in a recent favorite video of mine. That one's like a putty deodorant. So very different formulas, but I've been using them both now. This has slowly worked its way into my routine as well. I still love the putty deodorant so much. And that one's a little bit different. I'll explain to you what the differences are. This is the Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. Very, very different in formula. It's literally like a cream. I'm not sure if you can really see it. It looks like it's kind of overexposed when I take it too close to the camera, but it's literally like a liquid. A tiny bit goes a long way. The dispenser is very um, finicky, I guess. You want to make sure that you're twisting the bottom super slowly, otherwise way too much product comes out. But anyway, you just twist the bottom and then obviously apply it underneath your arms. And at first, the formula is kind of hard to get used to. I feel like I have to wait a couple of minutes for it to kind of absorb and dry down on my skin. It stays wet for a while, which kind of feels funny at first. So my first impressions of it were like, eh, I don't know if I like this, but as I wore it throughout that first day and throughout every single day basically since then, it really works. The thing that's kind of interesting about this and all of Drunk Elephant's products is they don't put fragrances in their products. So it's not something that smells like anything. It smells a little bit like almond extract right upon application, but then that quickly fades and you're left with zero scent and you literally smell like nothing throughout the day, but in the best way. Like you don't stink, but you don't smell like anything. It's crazy. It really does work for me and I've been really, really enjoying it. So once you get used to the unique form formula and you kind of let your armpits dry a little bit right after applying it, I feel like it's really easy to get the hang of it. And I have truly seen a difference in the way that, you know, I smell throughout the day. It's really done a good job. All right, you guys. So that's it for this month's favorites. I know there weren't too, too many products, but like I said before, those are the products that have really, really stuck in my routine this month. So hopefully that was fun for you guys to watch and hear about what I have been loving. As always, you guys know, I would love to know what you've been loving so be sure to leave a comment down below. If you're new here, hi, my name is Allie and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber but you wanna be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I post. Thank you guys for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. I love you all so much. I truly hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.